What is up, guys? Here we go again. Guys, oh my god, another photography, Urbex, abandoned, urban exploring, abandoned mansion, extravaganza, adventure. Guys, first of all, huge props to Rhythm Rider, Zenny with Zay, for hooking me up with this location, for hooking us up with this location. Guys, this is like an abandoned mansion that used to be the home of very, very talented sculpture artists. So this is the Sculpture Artist's Abandoned Mansion. And where I am right now is I am in the Sculpture Artist's Workshop. And I'm surrounded by very creepy faces and very many, very, very creepy sculptures. Scul sculptures watching me as we speak. So guys, let's quit messing around. Let's get right to it. Hurry up. Cue the music. Cue the intro. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay guys, quick teaser. We are not going to start this video in the sculpture room, but we're going to shart we're going to shart. <laughs> we're going to shart. We're going <laughs> to We're going to start this video upstairs, but here's a quick look at what you can expect to see when we get back down here. Guys, is that creepy or what? All right guys, I'm going to go upstairs. I'll see you guys up there. Okay guys, here we go. Let's get this video started. We're upstairs on the main floor at the main front door. We're gonna come in and we're gonna go to the right. And we're gonna start this video off in this room where, well, it's kind of empty, but uh, check out this sculpture here. So it looks like there's a sculpture that they were working on and I'm gonna pick it up here. And unfortunately, well, it's been uh, beheaded. So, it was, looks like maybe a dog. Here's the dog's head. Hey, what is up guys? <laughs> and he, so looks like the sculpture has been beheaded. Unfortunately, the, uh, we can't stand up a sculpture, can't get it to work, but oh well, that's the way she goes guys. There's a TV on the floor there. <sighs> okay, so it's been a long day guys. I've been at work all day, I'm tired but gotta get the urbexing in. So right here, we got ourselves a fireplace. Right here, I don't think I need my light on right now because I'm gonna do this and we're gonna do a what is up guys. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Get ready, get used to this. Number, number one, what is up guys. As you guys can see, I haven't shaved my head in a couple of weeks here. So my hair's getting a bit long, but uh, hopefully for my next video, I'll manage to shave my head for you guys, okay? So let's move on. So the cool thing about this house, guys, is there's two baby grand pianos. Now, I don't really know the difference between a grand piano and a baby grand piano. Call me stupid if you guys do know that, but I don't know the difference. But there's two of them in this house, so we're gonna see those in a minute. But right now, we're just gonna walk through. And this is a pretty nice room, what I'm guessing is one of your living room areas. So there's a window. Got your what is up, guys, mirror right there, your fireplace. <sighs> Are yawns contagious when you hear them? Are you guys yawning as I'm yawning? All right, this here, probably the kitchen. And uh, take a walk through here. We've got something here, something decorative and interesting. I don't know what the heck that thing is, but it's pretty interesting. And then we got, uh, we got a chair here. We got a green chair with no cushion, so we can't sit on it. And then... You got another chair, a barbecue that's missing its barbecue. And then <coughs> check out the ceiling, guys. The ceiling is coming down. So there's the ceiling. And there on the floor are all the little bits of ceiling that fell from the ceiling onto the floor. Here we got some VHS tapes in a bin. You got Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. And... We come around here and we got your fuse box and you've got your power outlets and you've got some old El Paso salsa and you've got some Kiko Monteriaki sauce and you got some Guru curry sauce. Could I get a hoodie? <laughs> okay. And you got a really nice tea mug right there, guys. 
and a, and a teapot. Super nice stuff. Super nice stuff. All right, moving right along, guys. Continuing our tour through this abandoned house. Here we got a very small bathroom. And there's your bathtub. As you know, we always show you guys the stupidest things, right? There's your bathtub. Obviously, there's your toilet. You got two sinks. And you got what is up, guys, number two, okay? Moving on. Moving on, guys. Bedroom here. Nothing much going on in here. You got a, you got a dresser in the bedroom. And you got a, a toaster oven in the bedroom right there. Who, wasn't, who wouldn't want a toaster oven in their bedroom, eh? Anyways, moving right along, guys. Moving right along here. Another bedroom. And this one here. Empty. Hardwood floor. And then you got this, 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 this thing right here. This chest. That's empty. It's nice, though. Yeah, it's a nice toy chest or a... A blanket? Oh, it stinks in there. A blanket, uh, blanket chest? It smells like mothballs in there. Okay, guys, we're gonna move along here and we're gonna go this way. Here's your dining room. Empty, so let's not dwell on it. Here's your kitchen, guys. Here's your kitchen. You got a sink there, Captain Obvious here. And paper plates, styrofoam plates. And uh, this here, you got your crock pot. There's your stove. I mean, stove. There's your fridge. And that's that, guys. Now, here we go. Piano number one, guys. Piano number one. This is a nice one. Hey, well, wait a second. There we go. Check it out. Check out the detail. Check out the decorative wood. This is a pretty damn nice looking piano, if you ask me. Hey. Okay. And guys, what song do I always play on the piano when I find an abandoned piano? This one's a little bit out of tune. Let's go a little, let's go a little higher. All right, we're gonna do that again a little bit later on the second piano, but let's back up here and get a nice look. This is a... Uh, Nice little surprise to find this in an otherwise very empty and pretty much <coughs> boring abandoned house with the exception of once we get downstairs. Here I go yawning again, guys. Whew, I had a big day today. Working all day. Another bathroom. What's up, guys? There is your fireplace right there. And if I can go up, and if you can see it through that uh, skylight, there's the tip of the chimney right there. So there's your chimney, comes right down to your, uh, to your fireplace right there. That's nice. Probably smells really nice in here when they get that thing going, eh? I just got out, got out from having a pretty bad cold, guys, so I'm still a little bit stuffy and congested. This is a pretty interesting room. <coughs> You got uh, red painted walls and stuff, some crown molding there. And then you got this wood trim around the closet and the door. So anyways, as I was saying, guys, whew, I just got off of a, about a week long cold. So, okay guys, let's check this out. So this is your master bedroom. And guess what, guys? This is gonna be the sexiest what is up, guys, I've ever done. So we're gonna go up, we got a mirror on the ceiling. What is up, guys, mirror on the ceiling. This is where the bed would have been. This is where the magic happens, right here, underneath the bed, underneath the mirror, on the bed. What is up, guys? The ceiling's coming down. Check that out. <coughs> you got, if I took something sharp, and I poke that right there, all that water would come pouring down on me. So let's hope it doesn't pop while we're here, guys. But uh, anyways, sexy time, sexy time mirror ceiling in the master bedroom. That deserves another one. What is up, guys? All right, moving right along through here. Floor's a little bit wet. Okay, so here's your master ensuite bathroom and uh, you got sexy time jacuzzi hot tub right here. Hey, and then look at this guys. You got what is up guys number one. You got what is up guys number two. And then back up top guys. What is up guys on the ceiling. Look at it. You can see me over there. 
And you can see me right there. Check it out, guys. Sexy time, mirrored ceiling. What is up, guys? Whew. That was intense. Bathroom, toilet's gone. Sink. There's, uh, there's mama's contact lenses. And you got the, uh, the, what do you call those things? Water pick. And then you got another mirror for a quick little, what is up guys? I'm gonna put the light on in here because it's getting a bit dark. Here we got a walk-in closet, guys. That's about it for that. And then what is this? Oh, we got a sauna in here, guys. Another house with a sauna. This sauna even has speakers in it. Check it out. All right. Nice stuff, guys. Nice stuff. And then you got this right here. You got a what is up, guys. And this goes into the other part of the house right there. So you can get to this master bedroom from two different directions. Okay? We're going to go back the way we came from, though. All right? Oh, excuse me and my sniffles, guys. All right, this is a pink bedroom here. And we got a, uh, a futon bed right there in the corner and we got a suitcase and we got a deflated soccer ball and uh there's that okay take another look around here little table right there okay moving right along guys out from the pink room and we got another bathroom here to the left and it's just your standard bathroom. You've got a pretty big bathtub, I'd say, right? Pretty big bathtub, standard Captain Obvious toilet sink, and another one of these. What is up, guys? Yes, guys, I am in a good mood today. It's been a while since I've been out exploring, so I'm feeling pretty good. I'm pretty happy, and uh, I don't know what else to say. You guys are just gonna have to deal with me being loud and doing lots of what is up, guys, in the mirrors. As we head up to the attic, very, very tough to get up down these, up these stairs here, guys. Holy cow. Okay, check it out, guys. There's your attic. You got a mattress up there. It's a fun place to put your bed. And then here you've got these blinds. This is pretty interesting. So you have these blinds that are gonna cover these windows here, these skylights. But, so my guess is that these are supposed to be up here like this, right? But over time, they've come down. There you go, that's how it goes, guys. See, I told you we could do it. All right. We got here. Looks like there's something back here, guys. Looks like we got something back here. Nope, there's nothing back there. Here we go again. Oh, anyways, guys, when I yawn, are you guys yawning? Is yawning contagious when you hear it or only when you see it? <laughs> Here you got a bench. You got some storage in there. And uh, yeah, if I was a little kid, I would totally put my bed up there. That'd be fun. But now we got to walk down these sketchy little stairs again up from the attic. Look how, look how skinny these little stairs are here, guys. It's not easy. Not easy, guys. Look at this. You got this here to hold on to to get you down safely. That's good. I don't want to fall, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. So this really covers the whole upstairs of the house. So now we're going to make our way downstairs. So we're going to take these stairs down here. Obviously, the railings and the banister have been removed. Unfortunately, that would have looked nice, I think. And uh, we're going to go down to the basement. And uh, you know what, guys? While I'm going down to the basement, we're going to take a quick break. And we're going to have a word from our sponsor. And our sponsor is me. Be right back, guys. Hey, guys. What's going on? Urbex Dave here. Thanks for always coming by and subscribing. First of all, I really do appreciate everything you guys do for me by following me here on Facebook, on my website, on Instagram. I do have a favor to ask, though. You see, YouTube has done a really good job lately at bringing my videos to a pretty good audience of people. But what I've noticed though is that a lot of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. In fact, over 90% of the people who actually watch my videos find it through YouTube suggested videos and aren't subscribed. 
If you're one of those people who've come to my channel through YouTube suggested videos, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below and sub to my page. So do me a favor, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and let's help grow my channel. And finally guys, I have started a Patreon account and I've been lucky enough to get myself a few loyal subscribers to my Patreon and those people have actually helped me pay for some of my road trips. So down below there's a link that says help support me on Patreon. If you guys can, any amount helps. Help support me on Patreon, guys. I always appreciate everything you guys do, and there are very many little goodies that I'll give you as a Patreon subscriber. Thanks a lot, guys. Let's get back to that video. Okay, guys, we're back, so thanks for that word from our sponsor. Again, our sponsor is me, and that's my little commercial break that I made, just to remind you guys of the things I just told you about in that little break. So we're now in the basement, and I'll show you the staircase right there. So. This is just a very slim little room here. Come down the stairs and uh, let's see which way we're gonna go. We are gonna go this way, all right? And from here, nothing too much. Well, here's some co cool stuff, guys. Look at all the baseball cards, basketball cards, and hockey cards and stuff all over the floor. Now, I know that there was a time frame in the 90s when there was a lot of different companies coming up with these cards. So I don't know if these are old cards or if these are just like those stupid 90s cards that they came up with that didn't really have much value. Let's have a look, see if there's a year on here. 1990. Yeah, oh, sorry. 1990. This card, uh, Scott Mellenby, he's the right wing for the Philadelphia Flyers. This is his card. Uh, 1990. So if anybody here knows anything about hockey cards, tell me if you see anything that might be of any value here, even though they're all pretty messed up. Who's this guy? Jim Jackson from the Calgary Flames. Oh, here's my nose is running, guys. Somebody here set up a bunch of basketball cards. These look much newer, obviously. There's some flowers there. They're all dried up. So this could be a combination of like good cards and crappy cards, old cards <coughs> and new cards, but they've been in here for a while. There's a lot of water damage, but uh, still pretty cool, I think. Sorry about all the sniffing, guys. We got another bathroom in here and uh, you got a toilet down there below. Again, Captain Obvious here. Somebody was looking through the, uh, through the medicine cabinet here. And then we're just gonna close this and we're just gonna give you guys a quick, quick what is up, guys. So as I'm walking here, guys, I'm gonna do a reminder for you guys to make sure you follow Rhythm Rider and Zenning with Zay. I am gonna put their links in the comments down below in the description of the video. Because if it wasn't for Rhythm Rider and Zenning with Zay, we would not be here right now, guys. So big thanks to my good friend Rhythm Rider, his girlfriend Zenning with Zay. Real nice girl, real lovely lady. Rhythm Rider, he's all right too. So make sure you guys give Rhythm Rider, Zedding with Zay, a follow, and give me a what is up, guys, down below. Oh, I'm sniffing again. Okay, guys, this is piano number two in what looks like a basement rec room. <sighs> we got some furniture here. Couple of couches. Love seat. Christmas decorations on the floor, carpets on the floor. Here's the, uh, the chimney coming down to the basement, to this fireplace here, very nice. And then here is another piano. And I think this one might sound a bit better than the other one. Let's just have a look here. Little out of tune, let's go high. Whoops. Okay. Sounds good, guys. Sounds good. So, guys, is this a baby grand piano? People who know things about music, I'm guessing yes, it's a baby grand. It's a smaller one. But just, just humor me, guys. Take a look. Drop me a comment down below. I got a question for you. Who here who follows my videos knows how to play the piano and are you good 
That's something that I always wish that I had done, is learn how to play the piano. But now that I'm a grown man and I'm an adult, I pretty much don't have the time or the talent or the ability to learn how to play the piano. I just took this art off the floor and I kind of wish I didn't, so we're just gonna move on now. Almost done, guys. We're just making our way through the basement now. We're gonna go to the room where all the sculptures are and we're gonna take a good look at the sculptures and then that's it, guys. Now, while we're walking, I have to remind you of my 360 videos that every video I do now, from now on, will have two videos, guys. Okay, we'll have a 360 video and the regular video. So linked down below and linked up above in the corner is going to be a link to go to my 360 video for this house. And then you're going to be able to come into each room, <laughs> each room all by yourself with, your three, with my 360 camera and take a look around and see the place for yourself, okay? Look at this thing. This is pretty old. Look at that, hey? Eh? Okay, this room here. Looks like the outside started to collapse a little bit. So uh, we don't want to go too far in there. Doesn't look too safe. But this is obviously some kind of a closet here. You got some luggage and some other stuff. Not too safe. Here you got another bathroom. This place has a lot of bathrooms. What's up, guys? Okay. Here we go, guys. Making our way through. Now we're going into the sculpture workshop. And I'm definitely going to come down here with my 360 camera and do some 360 shots. So guys, make sure when you're done this video, go down to the comments below. And at the end of the video, I will also link my 360 video so that you guys can come down and check this place out and see these rooms at your own, uh, at your own leisure, okay? So here's a sculpture here. Looks like a baby. He's had his head cut off. He's had his arms cut off. He's got a naked bum. It's not looking good for him, guys. Here's where we first came in, and here's the uh, sculpture that I showed you guys when I first came in of this mother hugging the little boy. So we're going to come around this side here, and we're going to get a look from the back here. So here's Mama. Hey, Mama hugging her little boy. That's nice. That's really nice. And then over here, we've got some kind of a dancing bear. See? Unfinished, unfortunate. I got another room back there, but I don't think I can get to it because there's stuff in the way. Oh, I can get there from back there. Okay. Okay, guys, let's go move on. And we'll go downstairs here to this part of the house. Look at these, got a pair of glasses here. Those are nice. Okay, hope the stairs are going to hold up on me here. Okay, into the workshop we go, guys. So here's some kind of a, a horse sculpture being attacked by a lion. Hold on, there it is. Check this out, guys. It's a lion attacking a, a horse. And then here is a work in progress of a volleyball player making a dive. And then here we got some little babies, some little baby sculptures. And, oh, what is going on here, you guys? Here we've got something a little bit inappropriate here, guys. We've got a man in the, in the, in the throes of passion. And you've got a woman with her, what is going on here? I can't make this out. So, oh, I see. Okay, so here's her head right here. And then there's her breast. And then her, what is this? Whoops. What is that? That's her face. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. So there's her face. <laughs> and her legs are going over here around him. And here's his legs. And then her hand is on his legs. So there's something going on here, guys. We're probably not supposed to be looking. But there is uh, an interesting sculpture that never got finished, unfortunately. Got a Christmas tree in a box here. Old phone, does it work? Nope. Okay, so here is a sculpture of uh, 
Well, it's obviously unfinished. It's missing its head. It's missing arms. There is a hand right there. And uh, we'll make our way on in. And uh, looks like this one here has been completely wrapped up. And um, let's see here. I think that this head is not supposed to be like that. I don't think the head's supposed to be in his hands like that because it looks like the head's supposed to be up there. But unfortunately with time, <coughs> this thing uh, will fall apart. It's gonna get a bit creepy guys. We got some heads up here. There's a bunch of heads. So right here, there's two heads, head sculptures, okay. And then up here, we've got what looks like possibly some finished works, some display work. This is pretty interesting, guys. This is a unique spot. And then here's a number of books that they likely used for, uh, for reading and for, for creativity and for ideas, inspiration. And uh, let's move on over here this way, guys. And we got some more heads here. We got this little this little dude right here, just hanging out. And then we got this head sitting right here. Creepy stuff, guys. Creepy stuff. Check this one out. Unfinished artwork, guys. It's uh, it's sad. It's very it's really sad. A little baby here. And then here's a face right there. And then what I'm guessing here is these are photos of the artist's work. I'm thinking. This is interesting stuff, guys. I've never seen a place quite like this. I, <coughs> this is cool. Wait, not that. This. Really interesting. I have done... The home of an artist. I did the home of an artist who did uh, who specialized in sculptures, and in his home there was a number of his works scattered about the house. His paintings, his sculptures, and his artwork. So, but uh, yeah, guys, this is pretty cool. This is where the magic happens here, guys. This is definitely the workshop. You got a mother nursing her baby right there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay hey guys, I'll be right back and we're gonna wrap this video up. Hey guys, I just wanna say thank you for watching my video. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber and a loyal follower. And another big thanks to Rhythm Rider and Zenning with Zay for hooking us up with this location. Because if it wasn't for Rhythm Rider and Zenning with Zay, we wouldn't be here right now. Next thing guys, make sure you hit this link right here, right there guys, click that link right there. That will take you to my 360 degree video for this house where I'm gonna walk through and you guys are able to use your fingers or your mouse to look around the whole room, to the roof, to the floor, to the left, to the right. I'll be here with my little camera walking around and you guys are free to look around all you want. So this video here is me walking talking and narrating and all you can see is what I'm showing you but in these new videos these 360 degree videos you guys have all the control you guys can look at whatever you want so guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing make sure you like the video make sure you drop me a comment down below make sure you're subscribed and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down there and follow my stuff. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. Always appreciate what you guys do for me. Rhythm Rider, Zenning with Zay, links down below. 
360 video. See you guys next time.